let's let's re revisit our convert that pi uh, program where we uh, ask user for the Celsius temperature and then converted and then printed as the Fahrenheit. So what we want to hear is we're going to define a function that actually does the conversion for us and then uh, returns the uh, the the new value. So I'm, I, I'm going to define a function called convert. Okay. Of course, I could use a more specific name, like convert to Fahrenheit, but I want to keep the name short. It takes um, C, let's say, as Celsius degree, and it will return uh, Fahrenheit as, uh, I'm basically gonna copy this from here, and then paste here, instead of Celsius, I'm gonna use my local variable or my parameter C. So this will convert any uh, Celsius degree and then return the Fahrenheit. So the only thing I have left here is in, instead of um, uh, calculating this here, I'm going to call my convert rate Celsius. Okay, so everything else should be the same. And then program we should work exactly as it worked before. So enter Celsius, let's say um, 35. And we get an error expectedly because we have a typo here. That's all right to make some 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 typos as long as you can fix it. Okay, so let's say we set 35. And the temperature is 95 Fahrenheit. Okay, so I'm going to call. Notice that um, our earlier discussion, uh, this is also our main function that we have been using so far. I can, we didn't have to, but in most cases we choose to use. And we also, in any function that includes the main function, you need to explicitly call the function. So imagine, let's say we don't have this main call here. I can run. And in my uh, convert.py, I have two functions, convert and main, but none, none of them work. The program didn't do absolutely anything. So in order for, for us to do something, I can call convert individually. Um, I can also call main, and the main function will do run the entire program. So call main, and the main is going to um, use the input function. For, to enter Celsius, I'm gonna say uh, 20, and that will call the uh, convert and then get the result, and then I'm here, I'm going to print it, okay? I can call convert individually to see whether it works or not. Convert, let's say I'm gonna do negative um, 40, and negative 40, uh, remember this, Celsius is equal to negative 40 Fahrenheit, okay? So now here's your turn. Um, I would like you to look at the food valve program that we had in the past. And hope you remember that. See if we can take the uh, anything from here and then make it a function and then call that function, okay? So if you think you can do this, go ahead and stop this video here, try it on your own, and then come back and replay the video. All right, so I, had, I hope you have enough time to try on your own. So there's a couple of things we could we could do. One of the times we can define a function that actually does the user input, but we can do it if you want. I'm going to write a function that does this uh, yearly, uh, principal calculation for me, okay? So I'm going to, I need to give this function a name. I can call it, um, um, just no idea what, what name I should give. I'm gonna call this uh, invest. I'm just coming up with random names, okay? So in, invest should take uh, principal and an APR. So I need two values here. I need P for principal, let's say A for APR, and it will return 
I'm uh, just going to copy this from here, paste here. I'm going to say P times 1 plus A. A is short for APR. Okay. So what should I do? I have a function that does my work. All I have to do is remove this from here and I'll call invest with principal comma APR. So two arguments go in as principal and APR. Two parameters receive as P and A. And this is my um, expression that does all the process the calculus one year of investment and return the value and the value is assigned back to the principal so again if we run this program we should expect no change in how the output works okay so enter principal hundred dollars apr is 0 .0 0 0.0.10 which also means 10 percent and then we get two hundred and fifty nine dollars plus all right so go ahead and try this if you haven't